everyone I'm sharing with you how to make another wall and this make by request uh, sorry for that noise out there people cutting the tree so on my street either they cutting the tree cut the grass they cut everything so be careful They're, they may cut you by accident someday so I have two interfacing right here this is a midway interfacing one for the lining and one for the main the side this is 5 inches by 13 inches and I have two so I'm using interfacing to cut the corners for the it's like a, a template kind of one inch I'm marking the four is here the two open right there you have to know that because if you do it wrong then it's not good going to curve this just like so this way and then you go on to cut this side and also when you're done you go on to place on this second piece and then you go on to cut this act the same so now place on this and then you go on to cut this out too the two fabric today this is the lining that i'm using pink and this is the main fabric i'm using this fan i place it around you're going to leave it either you can cut it straight all the way you don't need to go around it because you're going to follow the interfacing and so anyway so whatever you can do it's all up to you but the first thing you have to iron it So no bubble. So you go ahead and cut around a quarter of an inch or you can cut straight. Okay. Do that to the pink one too, everyone. And I'm going to start from the interfacing. Don't do on the fabric on the interfacing. You're going to measure it in five five inches. Five. And then the other end is five. Five right here I'm gonna fold this way just want to make in the straight line up so I just want to make sure everything is nice and straight everyone okay so five on each end measure it in you do that five and five So everyone, the first line when you, you when you mark the five, you go on to go and press this down. You go on to sew close to here, and then the second piece, the main one right here, you go on to do exact the same. And then you go on to sew very close to the side here, very close to the side here. So after that, you're going to bring this this line right here going up to the the second line right here. That where we marked earlier, right in the middle, and the other side of five right here. Bring this up like this. Going to place this on the side. You're going to do the second piece. You're going to bring this over like this. Okay, I put my finger where the line. And then I move this up. Okay, everyone. So after that, after you fold it, do you see the the line that you sew on this side and this side? The line that you sew on this side, but the main side right here. This is the one that we sew. We go on to bring it like this. Turn it over and bring it down. Okay. So this one, the sew lines is up. This one, the sew right here, it facing down. 
And that's it. Make sure everything lay up. You're going to leave about an inch and a half open like that okay so now you're going to follow the interface and in so all around all around to here and stop leave this open Don't trim on the spade right here. Just leave it there. Go on to inside out. Make sure your finger go right to the bottom of this and bring this out. around here top stitch around the top and then on this side top stitch on this side too okay you saw on the side that is showing the pocket right here so you know where you start and where you stop the noise out there that's crazy so now when you're done you when you're finished it look like this everyone it is so cute so easy so this one right here when the pockets showing like that you go on to flap it out like this Slip over iron it and then turn into this side this pocket showing this way then this one coming down this way so now you have a pocket with two sides so pretty let's make my request and um this is i just want to say thank you to the person that who requests me doing this and also donate to my support thanks thank you so much so now i'm going to fold this way so i can mark the center on both so this one coming down about a quarter up and inch away from that i'm going to mark the lie down just poke it down like that so i can see that right there it right here and this right here okay and then on this side this one right down like that a quarter up and inch down with a i poke it down and i can mark the light there right here
for the other side. So when you're done, you can snap it like that. That one side, and then this side, you're going to do exactly the same. How cute it is, everyone. So I'm using two different color for the for the uh, button. So this is what it looks like. Isn't that so cute? All right, so I'm gonna go and put the money on one side, like that. You see how much this room it is? I can put some change in here. And then here, I'm gonna close it one side. And then I'm going to this side. I'm gonna put some craft in. Plenty of room. You can put it like this too, if you want. But you can put more. I'm just do that for you to see. And then snap on this side. That's it, everyone. So simple, and it's so cute. Two sides. So pretty. Stay safe and take care, everyone. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to support my channel. Also, I, I just want to say thank you for the people who donate to my channel. And, um, and there's no need to, but if you want to, you can check under my the title of the video when you see like, share, and the things so click on that and decide whatever you want to donate but there's no need for that everyone so a lot of people ask so i have to tell you but i'm here no matter what i'm here for you i'm here because i want to share what i know stay safe and take care everyone thank you so much for watching i love this one this side is cute too and so what this side both sides are very pretty